Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will learn or understand how we can use Python enumerator and zip function. So guys, here I have list of numbers. I am asking very basic question from you. How we can find the index of each item? So you are thinking using the list method index, we can find the index of any item. Yes, we can find the index of element using the index method. But look at your list. Our list has some duplicate item as well. For an example, let's say numbers, which is index, I'm going to find the index of six. So it is giving me the three. If we have duplicate item in the list, then index function will give you the first occurrence of that element. So the first occurrence of this element is three. Let's say zero, one, two, and three. Now I am asking the question, how we can find the, all the ind indexes of the element six? It is not possible using the index method, okay? So let me tell you how we can do that. So here, if you want to find out index of each element, then we will use of enumerators, okay? So guys, enumerator is nothing. I'm going to mention here, it's provide an index of each element of list, or you can say that iterables. Iterables could be anything. Iterables can be list, set, tuple, and return an output, okay? Return an output in the form of tuple, in the form of tuple. What, what will be the syntax? So syntax is very easy. So we can mention here, let's say enumerate. And here you need to pass your iterables and your starting position is zero by default, okay? So by default, the starting position is zero. We can change as per our need. So for an example, I am using here the enumerator and I am going to pass my list of numbers. So it will give you the object. For an example, let's say type enumerate and I am going to pass the number. So it will give me a enumerate, okay? Now let's say print, I am going to use a list and enumerate and I'm going to pass the numbers. So see, it is giving me, it is giving me the index of each item. So my number was this one. So I was saying by default, your starting position will be zero. Okay, so you can see that the first index is zero and the item against the item one and three for one, five for two and so on, okay. So I was asking how we can find all the indexes of the element, which is six. So it is very easy. I need to apply a loop for I in enumerate and I'm going to pass my list, fine. Now, if I mention print of I, so you can see that enumerate return type is tuple. So we can easily access index and indexes numbers, okay. So let me make a comment. Now what I'm doing here, let's say print index of is this, I'm using the here, the assisting method, right? So we have already seen how we can use the assisting methods. So I of one, it means I'm going to access my element. Apart from that, I'm going to access my the index. See, so index of one is zero index of six is three, index of six, seven, and index six of 12. Now it is very easy. Once again, I'm going to have, let's say, make a comment here. Now what I'm doing, let me copy this. See, if I of one, it means I'm going to access my element. And that element is equivalent to the six, then I'm going to print this one. So you can see that. Index of six is three and index six, six of seven and so on. Okay. So guys, I was saying by default, your enumerator starting position is zero. In case you want to change, then you can change it. How? Let's say print list enumerate. And I'm, I'm going to pass for an example, my numbers and my starting position is, my starting position is five. You can see that. So now five, six, and so on. Okay, so these things you need to remember. 
for an example let's say i am going to have some snippet and here i am taking this list this dictionary right this one so for an example this is the alphabet which is dictionary then how we can use the enumerate over the dictionary so for an example let's say for i and j i am using these two variables enumerate and i am going to pass the alphabet so if i am using print and i and j see what will happen so first i will give me the index of my alphabet and the j it will give me the dictionary keys so you can see okay so in case you are applying the enumerator over the dictionary then you will have index and apart from that dictionary keys okay so guys this is all about how we can use the enumerator in the python now i am moving to the how we can use the zip function okay so guys zip function is also like very important function zip function take iterables i am going to mention here zip function takes and iterables okay less list tuple set etc right and these iterables can be zero or more okay and what will happen diff function will combine will combine them and return it in the form of tuple so these thing you need to remember if someone ask what is the zip function it means you can say that it will return an tuple iterator of that iterable object now for an example let's say i am taking result equal to zip this one okay so here i am not passing any iterables right so if you will print the result so it is like zip object now what i am doing converting iterator to a list let's say result list let's say list result equal to list of result okay now i am going to print the list of result so guys it will create a blank list it will create a blank list let me copy some snippet here now what i am doing i am using here let's say result equal to i am going to pass the zip and number of list comma and string of list okay now you can convert your iterator into a list or set or tuple here i am going to convert iterator to a set so for an example let's say set result equal to i can use set and i am going to pass my zip iterator which is result can you guess what will be the answer okay what are, what what i was saying it will give you the it will give you the it will combine and return in the form of tuple so the each item will be tuple okay now but here i mention the set so it is returning me a set but each item of the set in the form of tuple so these thing you need to remember so for an example let's say here i have passed only two iterables okay in case if i am going to pass the more than two iterables so see and here i am going to pass let's say roman of tuple and you can see that so it is combined how how it is combining let's say four and this four and this four you can see that and for five string five and roman five and so on okay now you need to think like uh, one situation here suppose two iterable are passed to zip function right one iterable containing three and other iterable containing five elements okay so for an example let's say i am going to create this one so what i am doing here for an example let's say this one so here what is happening 
I have three of uh, like uh, data point, which is list, list, and tuple. And one of the, my list has only the two items, okay? So what I'm doing here, if I'm going to pass, let's say result equal to zip, the same, this one. Can you let me know what will be the output? And now I'm going to change this answer into the tuple. Okay, so we can have, we can mention our output into the set, tuple and list. Okay, so guys, listen to carefully what I'm saying. In case your list has some item, which is four and five, and some list have only four elements and some of the list we have only the two elements. Okay. So it means it's because iterator is stop when the shortest iterable is exhausted. Okay, so let me run this. So here, what is happening? Four, right? And this four and this four. After that five and this five and this five. All these items will not combine into the zip. Because whatever the, your list is shortest, based on that, the zip function will combine all the arguments. Okay. Now, another example, let me copy this one. So these two lists I have, right? What I'm doing from these two lists, you need to map PM with country. Can you map? So simple, let's say for PM and country, right? I'm going to pass my zip and PM and country, right? Now what I'm doing here, let's say print prime minister, right? I'm because this is the string, then I'm going to mention here the string and country is once again, the country is also the string, right? Country is also a string. Now I'm going to pass here this one. Let's say PM and country. So you can see that. Okay. So we can also populate this type of information using the zip function. Okay. Now I am asking very basic question from you. So these are two lists, which is PM and country. Can you let me know in the comment how we can create a dictionary from these two lists? So these two lists, how we can create a dictionary? You can pause the video and write your comment. Okay. Now I am telling you how you can do that in two seconds. Guys, this is very important question for an interview. My question was how we can convert a dictionary from these two lists. Simple, let's say print and you can pass the dictionary, dictionary iterator. And here you can use zip and you can pass PM and country. Let me here. So you can see that right here, you can find Modi, which is let's say India and Biden and US and so on. Okay, so we can easily pass whatever your dictionary you have, you can pass within the zip function. Sorry, you can pass the list into the zip function. Okay, and you can mention your dictionary iterator, it will create a dictionary. Okay, guys, so guys, this is all about the enumerator and zip function. I hope you learn something new in this session. Do practice more as much as you can. And I'm sure practice will give you the confidence and build your logic. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.